Hey everybody, I am in West Texas at Bill and Lori Lowry's house and they have an amazing array of hummingbirds and we are banding hummingbirds. And I have right here in my hand a young male calliope and I don't know if the colors will come out but you can see on the side of his throat he's got like maybe six or seven little feathers in there and you can also see how small he is. The other thing about calliopes is they have a really unique shape to these two central tail feathers. It shows up more on an adult male but it's kind of spade shaped like the feather comes out and gets a little bigger at the end and then goes to a point like that. So that's how we can know it's a calliope. So calliopes take the smallest size band we have, which is a 5.4. So we're gonna put one of those on this guy. Take it, I keep them on here. Take it off of here. We make sure that we have the next number in the string. And I am going to just slide it down the pin to open it, and you can see the numbers on there. And I'll get a focus on that. And then we have smaller pliers because it's a smaller band. So I've got him in this sock just to keep him from getting too fussy. And you pull the leg out, the pliers around there and close it, and he's banded. So I don't know if you'll be able to see the band on the leg. There's a lot of feathers in the way. this little band. So that has a letter and five numbers. He's now got a social security number. <laughs> Nobody else will get that number. So we'll know who he is if he gets caught again. So I'm going to measure the wing. And that is 40.9. Measure the tail, his stinky little tail. 21 and a half. Next comes the bill. And that is 15.5. And then I'm going to look at his bill with this magnifying glass and see if I can see if it has any wrinkles on it, which it does because he's a young bird. That just confirms that it's about an 80. So let's see how many feathers do you have, dude? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Does not have any fat, so he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Anyways, 3.18 grams. That's all there is to it. Now he's done, and he, as you can tell, is ready to go. Bye bye. Yeah. All right. Now we have an adult male broad-tailed hummingbird, which is obvious because of his throat. Does it show the 
color? Uh, not really. Hold it in the light so that it'll. There, you get the color. So he's got this beautiful rose throat. He's also got this. His back is really green, and his tail. He's got rufous edging on his tail feathers. You can see that. Tail feathers are a lot longer than on a, a rufous or a ruby throat or anything like that. But his legs are the same size as a, as a female ruby throat anyway. So he's going to take a 5.4 band. So the band is 36. Is that right? Yep. Okay. All right. Slide it on the pin. Open it up. I gotta get the big pliers. Get this leg. Okay, he is banded. we did a minute ago. 19.1, and I'm not even going to look at his bill. Me. What bill? 19.1. Okay. I'm not gonna, even going to look at his bill because he's he's obviously an adult with all those feathers in his throat, so he's not going to have any of those grooves on his bill. Doesn't have any fat. And he weighs 4.04. 4. So I think this color of green on their back is just so pretty. He's got, oh, wait, well, you can see it in the light. It's kind of turquoisey green. It's different from a ruby throat, it's like emerald green. And this guy's more like <laughs> turquoisey green. But the throat, of course, is the best thing. Okay, we got an adult male Rufus. You can see he's all Rufus on his back. He's got a full throat. So we're going to band him. He takes a middle sized band, 5.6. He just held his leg out for me so nicely. Alright, so I just put the band on. There it is on there, a little silver band. Now we're going to take some measurements. The bill is 17.4. That first. Oh, he won't have any grooves because he's an adult. The wing is uh, thirty-eight point six. The tail is twenty-seven. He's got a full throat. Let me redo it in here. Well, he doesn't have any fat, so he's not going anywhere anytime soon. And he weighs 3.96 grams. 
so adult, adult male, you can see his back is all rufous, his throat is all red, and he's a feisty little guy. I'm gonna let him go. Bye bye. Alright, we have an adult male calliope hummingbird here. You can see he's got a full uh, corgent and the feathers go down the down the side of the throat. So we're going to band him. He takes the smallest band size we got, which is a 5.4. Uh, 82. So I got the bird right here. He's all secure. Got to find his little leg. Okay, now it's on there. So now he's got a little bit of jewelry to take with him for the rest of his life. So I'm removing the wing. Thirty-four point eight. His tail is twenty-two and a half. His bill is fifteen point. Seven. For the gorget feathers, you can just write full in there because he has a full throat. And let's see if he has any fat. I bet he doesn't. Nope. Okay. Wham. Okay, so one of the very distinctive things about calliope hummingbirds, which if you can't tell what it is by the throat, the shape of these two central tail feathers, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera, it's very distinctive, they're like a spade shaped, they come out and they get fatter and then they taper off. That's very distinctive, but of course, on this bird, we have this. Is it show? Is the light showing the gorget? No, barely. I can move him so it'll show. So there he is, our little male calliope. I'm gonna let him go. Okay, I have an adult male black chin hummingbird. I think his throat probably looks black on the camera. That's why they're called that. But let me see if I can get him to. So you can see the purple, but. Anyway, we'll try to get the purple to show in a minute. Uh, he won't have any groups because he's an adult. Not 3.78. Come back, come behind me. There we go. So there's his purple throat, and you can see there's black underneath. So that's why he's called the black chin hummingbird. So it's only the bottom part that's purple. But the other thing about black chin hummingbirds is they're back. It's not nearly as bright, bright emerald green as a ruby throat would be. It's kind of a muted green. I know those feathers look bright, but these ones are dull over here. And a ruby throat, the, all the feathers would look like that. They'd all be bright like that. So that's that's one of the differences between those two. Okay, we're going to let this little guy go.